It's delivery day at the Tonto Creek Fish Hatchery. Everybody wants to know where our brood stock is here. And when we explain to them that we don't actually have any brood stock, that we get all of our eggs FedExed overnight, uh, we get a lot of, of funny looks. Uh, people can't imagine shipping fish eggs. <laughs> There's the first tray of eggs. They arrived uh, in very good shape. Uh, there was still ice left. Um, they, they look good. The box hadn't been turned upside down. That's, that's always a good start. This order should have been 203,000 from Ennis National Fish Hatchery in uh, Montana. We're rehydrating the eggs right now. Uh, they'll sit in this water for 10 minutes just to get rehydrated and then we will sample count the eggs so that we know how many eggs um, displace a certain volume of water so that we can enumerate the eggs. After the sample count is taken, the eggs are disinfected against any pathogens they may have come in contact with. Next, they are transferred to the incubation room where they are first scooped into sifters. Drain out as much water as we can, like so. Just try to get it to where it's not dripping very much. There's always a little bit of water on there you can't, can't do much about. And then from here, they will go into the measuring cup and we'll put the eggs into here until we get to 1,000 milliliters. This is where it gets time consuming when you have 350,000 eggs come in. That looks pretty good. And then now that we've got 1,000 milliliters in the measuring jar, then we pour them into the McDonald uh, upwelling jar. Once the eggs are evenly divided among the cylinders, circulation tubes are attached and the pressure is adjusted to give them just the right roll. It's, it's an eyeball thing. You just you don't want too much roll, but you want to have enough uh, roll on the eggs so that there's not uh, like dead spots that aren't circulating because those eggs aren't getting any air or any oxygen in the water. So you can kill eggs by, by not having the right roll. It'll take about 10 days for them to hatch, and they will actually hatch in the jars. And uh, once about 90% of the, uh, the eggs are hatched, at that point we will take them out and put them into our uh, sac fry troughs. And from there, they'll absorb their yolk sac, which takes about another 14 days. And once they've absorbed all of their yolk sac, then they'll swim up to the surface and they're ready to, to start feeding and that's when we start doing our feed training. Then it will take another 15 months of care and feeding before they grow to 10-inch rainbows ready to be released into Arizona's streams and lakes.